Do you think Watson and, and Dubs can uh, handle uh, a pressure playoff type game with great starting corners all over them in a, a you know, a, a win or go home game? Do you think those two rookies can handle that kind of pressure? I said from the beginning, I think Dubs is going to be the better wide receiver. I think Watson has more upside, but he really hasn't grown into his body to understand his physicality yet. And with the knee injury, it's setting back. I think Dubs is going to be the guy that's going to shine, but he needs to learn. He can't cut off route. He can't have any shortcomings because when you're in college, you know this, when you're in college, maybe twice a season, you're going to go up against somebody that's really good that has maybe your number. Other than that, you're beating everybody. In pros, every week somebody's got your number, and you got to figure out ways to do it and do it right, and that's what Rodgers wants done. I think you're going to see a lot of motion. You're going to see a creative offense. Think about it this way. When was the last time that you weren't sure who your left tackle was going to be? You're just getting your right tackle back from injury. The offensive line's been a shakeup. You're looking for your third running back. Your tight end just came back from injury. And, oh, by the way, your number one wide receiver in the National Football League is gone, and you've got two new guys you're trying to get to equate to something. There's a lot of flux here, but I think after the first three or four games, the Packers are going to kind of fit into a mold, and that is going to be dink and dunk down the field, go true West Coast style of offense, run the ball with Dylan and uh, and uh, Aaron Jones in the backfield. And both of those guys have been in the backfield a lot at the same time this, pre this early in the season in training camp, so they're running that set too. And I think they're going to be okay. I just don't think that in the two-minute drill and a lot of downfield splash plays are going to happen for this team.